will our discover we are going to discover something more and interpreting the facts and what exactly we are doing we are going for looking into the existing theories and trying to examine the relevance of existing theories and its practical implication and practical applicability all these things are we are doing then another aspect we are doing collecting information about particular subjects so means if i am doing a research on a particular issue and in the research what i am doing i am going for collecting more and more information about that fact in details so that is exactly what we are doing in the research then see research is exploration combined with learning see when i am doing research that means i am exploring something new and then at the same time what i am doing i am also learning it is not that the learning and and the research are different it is situated in one platform so means while exploring something new i am giving an addition to the my knowledge i am learning something new day by day while doing the research because you see the moment you will be more exposed to the research then your knowledge in the theory will increase your your the interpretation idea will also increase and your knowledge will be more sharp because the so the more you will be exposed the more you will know so detailed study of a subject in order to discover the information or achieve a new understanding of it so that means if i am going for detailed study of a subject so why why i am going for detailed study of subject to discovering more and more information to acquire more and more knowledge of a particular aspect so that's why i am going in more in depth for discovering more information i am doing some research moreover research extend beyond just learning so it is you see other way also it is the research helps me in the learning and at the same time the research expands it is not that simple i am learning i am also contributing to the nation i am contributing to the society i am contributing to the community and also i am contributing in inventing something new get it upon so means it is not that i am only learning rather my knowledge my research is helping me in expanding the my knowledge and extending the knowledge to others which will help the entire society entire community so research provides a foundation for both education and also welfare of the society so that means through research what exactly we are doing we are gaining certain kind of knowledge we are learning because while i am getting in more exposure while i am interpreting the facts what i am doing i am learning so many things and at the same time what i am doing my discovery of ideas my discovery of theories my discovery of thoughts is helping in the welfare of the society no okay. so that means the more i will do the research that will help in uh, giving a, a kind of a solution to the society because the findings which i will find from the research will be have an implication in the society so let us have a look the other aspect so that what is the philosophy of research what exactly the why why we are telling about what is exactly the philosophy of research here we look into the cultural aspect of the research the attitude aspect the motivation and dignity aspect of the research all these things see we will look at the cultural aspect of research research is a culture to be practiced through continual quest for innovation see if you want to be research if you want to do research what should be the culture of the research means you should have a quest for innovation you should feel thirsty see if you are not thirsty i cannot give you the water and what is the need of water the moment you feel water you will search the water because you see water never comes to you rather you have to go to the water so that's why they, if you want to do research exactly you see the difference exactly what is happening in the contemporary period most of the time we are doing research without any kind of understanding the cultural philosophy and without understanding the philosophy of research exactly what for i will do the research what exactly you see everybody cannot do the research it should be kind of a things should be motivated within you to do the research so that's why the culture is that practice through continual quest it is not that today i will uh, pack them and i will do the research and tomorrow i will sleep no it is a continuous quest 
or innovation, to discover something, to contribute something for the society, to learn something new, what exactly happening in the society. As a social scientist, we always, if I'm doing a research on a particular issue, I should go understanding more and more in depth what exactly happening. So that will help me in establishing a culture of research within myself. Then I should have an attitude. What exactly the, I should have an attitude? I should have an attitude needs to do hard work. That should be my attitude that I should be dedicated to do the hard work. If I am not doing the hard work, see that I told, suppose you joined in their program and you see you now I told you that within the past, your past class also that the moment you joined in NIT Raukula, you should have a more, your attitude should be completely changed. It is not like a college where you studied most of the time you bomb the class, the teachers won't come to the class, the students won't come to the class, the very irregularities are there in all these cases. It usually happens in most of the state universities. So what I'm exactly telling you, here the teachers are very particular and the students should be very particular. So that means if you are part of any research, you should have a dedication towards your, your attitude should be completely changed. That means you should be ready to do the hard work because I cannot feed you. First, you should feel hungry. What is the culture? Yes. Then, once you feel hungry, you should do the hard work where the food will come. Okay. Because, see, uh, all of you know that because if you are sleeping a lion, can the mouse will come and enter into the uh, mouth of a lion? No. So that means, first, you should have a kind of quest for innovation. That to continuous quest is not that today I have a quest for an hour and tomorrow I will sleep. And then the next is you should have an attitude to do hard work. Then you should have a dedication. Hard work means I should dedicate it to your work. It is not that I am telling you that you should do physical hard work here. You should have a dedication to the art. And you should have a perseverance. Perseverance and then perseverance and appropriate attitude, your attitude should be appropriate and you should have a perseverance to do the works. Unless and until you should have all these qualities, you cannot do the, uh, understand exactly what is research. Then as a researcher, you should be always motivated. Research planning cannot and should not follow the schedule of time and sensing approaches. You see, what exactly happened? You see, I'll give an example that you see, suppose you are doing a research, the motivation should be throughout the period. It is, should be 24 into 7. It is not that I am only doing research whenever I open my computer, open my book, I do the research. No. The moment you are doing the research, you should completely sacrifice yourself to the ocean of research. Means you should get into the completely yourself into the research car that what will exactly will happen. No, you can understand exactly what you are supposed to do. And you say, suppose you are traveling with a boss, suppose you are doing a research on a particular topic, and today you have going to the field while you are traveling in the bus. So your memory should think about every time. So all of a sudden an idea comes. So that's why I always tell, if you're doing a research, always a pen and paper should be in your pocket. So that what will happen? The idea comes at any particular time if you completely dedicated yourself to the field of research. So that the moment an idea comes, you can just pick up the paper and pen and write there what the new idea has come to your mind. And then sometimes, if you are so dedicated towards your research, if you are doing your research, what exactly will happen sometimes? Suppose you are sleeping in the midnight, all of a sudden you get up, then uh, because sometimes what exactly happened while we completely dedicated ourselves into a very uh, particular domain and throughout every period of our time, we only think about that. Suppose you are doing research on a particular topic, and your dedication will come to know that if you are seeing the dream of that topic always. If 
every time while eating also you are thinking that while sleeping also you are thinking that while reading also you are thinking that so that will reflect that your complete involvement in the field of research that to you are completely dedicating yourself into that topics so that what will happen suppose you are sleeping in this night all of a sudden one idea came see your idea will come and it will again go because sometimes what exactly happen our memory sometimes we preserve we have a long term memory we have short term memory different kind of ideas comes and goes with a, as a short term memory which should be immediately recorded so that means even in the night midnight you should get up and write in a paper <coughs> and then and keep it and next day morning when you will get up you think that this is the new idea has come up to me in the yesterday midnight so i should think more on this i should read more on this <coughs> and the and how will happen means how the motivation will come and you should go for reading more and more books more and more journals you should have an habit of going to the library because what exactly happening in the contemporary uh, research also in the, in the uh, specifically the contemporary students we are losing an attitude of studying so what exactly we are doing from the very grassroots level what our education system has completely made us as a kind of spoon feeding so means we are only running after the marks rather than learning something new however anyhow the new education policy has come up definitely it will change that idea because the new the main motto of new education policy is also to break up that uh, idea and anyway, i am not getting into the uh, all these things right now so means we should be completely dedicated of <coughs> Uh, our uh, attitudes and that i should learn something more i should read something more it is not that simply i'll kind of uh, uh, wherever uh, so already some kind of uh, thesis is being written already some published documents are available i will just copy it and write a report or thesis whatever then you should act as you should have a dignity not everyone has to do research and it should be pursued for the glorification hello it should not be only pursued for the you know, glorification suppose if you are doing a research you should not do a research only to glorify that you are doing the research you should do with complete dedication and developing a culture within you that i am a want to be a good researcher you should have a motivation you should have an attitude you should have a culture of research it is not that simply you are doing for to glorify some of your finding or glorifying yourself that you are a dedicated researcher so any question till now hello so any question no sir no sir hmm anybody in a doubt till now no sir no sir No, you understood no, what you understood what exactly I am telling here now till now. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Hmm? Okay, so so if any question comes, you can write on this. Okay, then we will continue. Okay, so now visible. Repeat, is it visible? Yes sir. Yes sir. Oh. Yes, sir. yes sir. Yes sir. So, uh, if anybody has problem, please immediately intervene. Okay. So now you see what exactly we are doing. You see, why you? I as a by profession as a teacher, and also what I am doing, I am also doing research. Okay. So what I am telling. So sometimes what happen? Uh, generally, we have an idea that. Sir, I don't have any further interest in the research. So why should I will be much dedicated to do do research? See, my question is, you see, the math math problem with us that why we are uh, telling research? It does not mean that I am doing that only research for my higher studies. See, no doubt, if I am doing some research. i am thinking for some discovery that is different what i am teaching but at least if my attitude 
perception is being changed because of my academic background because of my academic exposure then that will help you in your future course of time so you see small example now let us for go out of this academic research then i'll come back to what exactly that we are doing and what is research and all see suppose you think you are going to buy a particular product for your personal use what are you doing are you just simply going and picking up this some product from the market are you doing that hello are you simply no sir no sir what you are doing so first we uh, research about it that uh, what is the product about hmm. and uh, we just compare it with the different products then yes. uh, we satisfy it then we uh, the last thing we buy will exactly you see see it is not that as i am an economist and i am only doing the research rather you are developing an attitude for doing the research and you see and your idea is stop there because you are not get engaged in doing a formal research because see every common man every common man is also doing the research but that research is not called research because exactly it is not coming in a formal way but otherwise you see why i am suppose buying something look at the common man common man forget about the man like us who are more exposed to digital world rather think about a very common man in the staying in a very remote rural areas whenever he is going to buy a it by small things like a slipper from the market he is not going and outrightly buying some product what is doing he is seeing show me what are the varieties are available with you he is looking into which is very com- most comfortable to his to him and which is looking good so all the, and then he is comparing the price then if he is not feeling happy there he is going to another shop seeing the similar kind of product and comparing with the price and all so that means you see and as an academic researcher what exactly you are doing you if you are doing a marketing doing research and marketing what you will do you will go and find this kind of customers what exactly you are looking for and they are the people who will give you any inputs get it my point and you as a knowledge based person doing a research research and academic research or development research or exam research what you are doing you are extracting the problems they are thinking they are perception people's perception and you are only accumulating those informations and interpreting it on your own way because you have a knowledge so then you are giving a something new to the society but you see giving something new there is also contribution of this rural fellow who is also looking for means why why he is uh, searching from one to two shops or three shops see even if somebody is buying a vegetables in the market forget about buying sell personal when somebody has gone to the market for buying vegetables is he going to directly one shop and taking it no i am telling about the common market when when somebody is going to an open market and procuring some product what is doing he is roaming in two three shops and looking into he is not only comparing the price he is comparing the quality and at the same time comparing the price so that means you see the idea is present only thing is this is the difference between him and you because you are doing in depth analysis but his ideas are not in depth his he is not having the attitude to do research but rather you are having an attitude so but but you see the research is fine in every level but that exactly we never tell as a research <clears throat> so that's why you see now we'll see forget about other things as we are in academic line we should look into that relationship between research and teaching how the research helps in expanding the teaching and how teaching also helps the research so please all of you mute it is creating sound the research helps in the passing expert and contemporary knowledge to the students see if i will do a research on a particular topic then the new knowledge of which i will gain from the field that i can pass to the that knowledge i can pass to the students because you see if i will not do the research i will not expose it to the new readings i will not expose it to the 
okay i'll not exposure to the what exactly happening in the contemporary days what are the new policies come up what are the new apps has come up so that i don't know see how many of you are exposed to the newspaper readings how many of you oh. are all of you are reading newspapers yes sir yes sir how many of you are not reading How many of you are not reading the newspapers? Sir, so I read the news, uh, you know, over the online apps, but I am not. Uh... See, that's fine. At least, see, at least you should have a knowledge what is happening in the society. Because see, I am requesting all of you from the very beginning. that as a social scientist or scientist you should have a understanding about the research in your day to day life and for that also you should know first what exactly happening in the society you see you are a student of development studies but if i tell yesterday the government has brought a new policy you will tell i don't know see you should be update about what exactly happening in the society what is the see now <clears throat> september is approaching from september 7th or 8th the new parliament session is going to start and the parliament is going to pass lots of bills lots of policies lots of acts you should be very update every day what exactly the new policies come out what is the new act has come out what are the draft policy available in the in the ministry's websites get my point so that what will happen you will compare suppose now the government is bringing one environmental bill what will be the impact of that environmental bill Have you heard that new environmental bill is coming up? New? Hmm? Hello. Anybody ever? Yes, sir. Uh, environment impact assessment something I. Yes. The bill was passed. Where it passed? Yes, sir. Is it passed in the parliament? Or? No, sir. Sir. No, sir. No, no, sir. Sir, no, no, sir. 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 it uh, it's not passed till now it's a draft bill yes sir it's just a draft for now it is clear it and now it will go to the parliament see so the question is if it will be passed have you studied that what will be the impact in the society hello yes sir uh, yes sir i studied hmm? Yes, sir. The impact was basically coming from mining and other industry. They want to reduce control of that industries and something like saving environment and of the sir, sort. Basically, new environment bill is the uh, uh, management of a waste of uh, some mining industry and uh, some big industry platform. Management of a waste. Only management of waste. Yes. Sir, it also uh, violates uh, some rules, you know, uh, like uh, I don't remember uh, vividly, but uh, sir, so it violates uh, uh, the rules of the national standards, and it also provides with the public consultations. So definitely, definitely, government will do the public consultation because the new when the new education policy came, the government has to create enough new consultation. But you see, what I'm telling exactly that uh, when as an academician, so any kind of new policy bills acts came, so we should go for a very kind of in-depth interpretation of the policies because you no, know, the new environment is coming up. The draft bill is available now. When it will come in the police form, the moment Parliament will pass as it is now, it will have lots of negative impacts also. Because you see, in order to accelerate the growth of a nation, no doubt we need the extractive industries should be widened and it should be given more scope and all. We should go for more mining, no doubt. But the question arises. Does mining is sustainable? What next after the mining? Are we able to survive? So mining will go maybe hundred years. Mining will over. Get my point. What next? 
are we do, really doing the ecological restoration of those lands wastelands see in environmental policy they have they are giving emphasis on that also but you see mining wastage mining uh, uh, the restoration of wastelands all these things but at the same time you should remember that that lakhs and lakhs tribal communities are going to be affected as a student of development studies students we should also focus on that because around 36 reserve forest are going to be denoted to be uh, notified as a on reserve one uh, it should be declared as an on reserve so now that will be also major problem ha huh. anybody wants to ask anything hello Hello, somebody is raised hand. Jasmine or Vikas, somebody is raised hands. The Vikas Kumar Nayak, I think. Hello. Want Hello. Ah, uh, no, sir. I am. Uh, I am clear about it because uh, you recently said about it. Uh, environmental bill is a plant. Uh, something. Something about plant policies. I think about it. Hmm. Sir, sir, I am clear. You proceed right now. Okay, so you see what I'm telling you. See, <coughs> means whenever any policy is because that because you see as a academician, as a researcher, you should have a kind of logical interpretation because it is not that whatever the government gives, it is good for the society. Because you see, the government always think for the development, but the question arises: the development for whom? Who is going to be develop? Who is going to be see? No doubt, the government always look for the majority. Because the problem in our country is, we always look for the majority, and the minorities are affected. Minority here, I am not talking about on the context of religion, in the context of caste, on the context of creed. I am telling in the context of class. Get my point? I am not telling minority means you should not take in other way that religious minority or caste minority or gender minority. I am telling minority in the sense of the economically marginal communities. That is mostly if you look the tribals. they are living in the forest regions so they are always being affected by any kind of development process but does our development policy does our development has brought the real development to them because unless and until we brought a holistic development that development cannot be called as a development no doubt we need mining so i tell you you see in australia i'll give an example very small things as a research methodology and course and all you should be aware about this in australia when our prime minister visited australia there was an mou also held between adani and australia government that they will go for extracting the coal and the best coal in the world is one of the coal available in australia but you see our there was is lots of agitation held in australia because the the field where the mining operation supposed to be held if the mining operation will be held in that locality there is a small bar which is going to be extinct from this earth so the, there are lots of people who are the bar lovers they went for the agitation then the end the end the government australia government cancel that mou with adani for in a for a particular site and the other site he allowed for a particular site they can so what exactly i am telling who should also develop that kind of consciousness within us see it does not matter whoever ruling in the country but the rulers should be always kind of the people specific should look to the people should look to the marginal communities and when our policy acts all this thing comes as an academician we should interpret in that sense also because you see every act and every policy has something bad and something good but we should compare that what exactly shit the goods are coming and what how to minimize the bad because you see we need mining because unless and until mining extraction help the country cannot progress we should not completely stop mining mining is must we should go for more mining extraction that is obvious needed for the progress of the nation but the concern is how we can bring a policy or act which will minimize the environmental impact and at the same time I mean, harm to the local community. How we can minimize? Because you see, suppose now migration is an issue. Migration is rising in the in the India, forget about the world. But the question is, can I stop migration? No. You see, now the corona incident happened. 
the immigration had lots of people who are who had migrated earlier they come back to their locality but is the state go respect to state governments are ready to provide the job opportunity no because we have lots of three four friends from kerala here see lots of uh, migrants back from the saudis to kerala see is kerala government is ready to provide them employment opportunity no so then what will happen after few months when everything will be settled again they will start migrating right and you see from to, tomorrow onwards we are going for unlock four and what the government is now thinking unless not until we unlock everything we know that we are in a dangerous situation our position is very bad but still unless not until we unlock the country's economy is going to be devastated because corona has come the time will come after one year two year corona will go but the country has to survive the economy has to survive because for this the entire future generation should not suffer also because we have to make a balance between the present and the future also we are also thinking that sense so that's why i am requesting all of you as a student of development study students you should always have an exposure to the newspaper and also to the media what exactly happening what are the new policies come up what are the new actions come up unless not you are updated in your life it is very difficult to cope with the system then uh, uh, so we'll see now the relationship between the research and teaching you see <clears throat> research helps in passing the expert and contemporary knowledge on to the students if i do the research through that what will happen i can get certain gain certain kind of knowledge and my expertise on this contemporary world which i can pass to the students then students experience the importance and advant of their subject so the moment i i share the knowledge which i get from the research it will strengthen the knowledge of the students and it will give a feel best experience to the students students learning is accelerated by engaging them with the development of the knowledge base of the discipline because if i tell you give you more example you see look into that's why i always tell our teaching should be more interactive because you see you are also scattered throughout the india in a different parts of the country some are from rural some are from urban you have also certain kind of experience in a different domain and the moment the teacher is more expert with research that knowledge can be shared that is not only from the particular disciplinary perspective rather also from interdisciplinary perspective the knowledge can be shared to the students and that will help the students then test book may not up to date with ever developing technology because you see when we are reading the text book the text book may not be developed every time because always the new edition we have to wait for the new edition and but a researcher who is a teacher can give you the new ideas before that comes in the published form before that comes in the published form that knowledge can be shared with the students lecturers by active researcher are aware of the newest perspective in their field see the teacher who are active researcher are always updated in the new of new domain of research that ideas knowledge they share with others deeper representation is a key attribute of a teacher engaged in the research because see if i will go on to more and more deeper and if i will develop an attitude in the research that knowledge i can share with my students and the students will gain a lot from that so then teaching plays a rich dividends to researcher means the research the teaching pay a rich dividends to research sir also because teaching also provides certain kind of knowledge to the research and it is a kind of interlink it reinforces their ability to do research it expands and clarify their thinking teaching also sometimes clarify the thinkings it stimulates in convincing the ideas of further research in teaching what exactly happen we gave a new idea we inject in the minds of the students for different issues then it gives an in depth idea to the students to do more and more research in a more uh, in a more uh, particular way some data from students project may be utilized to publish and acquire research grants like okay, because you see sometimes whenever the teacher encourage the students to do some research and the students while doing the research get some new ideas from the field also that can be utilized by the teacher 
also means teachers, students, and research all are how this combined. A positive influence uh, from research is teaching. The clarification of the big picture into which the research specialization fits appropriately, then reduces the gap in knowledge base. If the a teacher will be a good researcher, so that's why now you see MHRD is always our Minister of Education now is giving more emphasis that some institute should be completely dedicated as a teaching and research institute. So that what will happen, like the institute like us, which are considered as an institute of national importance. They are more devoted to teaching and research through that what will happen. If you do research also, that knowledge can be used in teaching and the teaching knowledge can be can be shared with the students who, who will be more interest in the doing the for the research in the future. Then the to be a good researcher, what should what are the qualities you should have? You should have a curiosity within yourself. Means you should have a first curiosity to know so many things. If you don't have curiosity, you cannot be a good researcher. And then you should have a persistence. Unless and until you are persistent enough, you cannot do it. Means what exactly I was telling from the very beginning that you should have that quality. Otherwise, you cannot uh, be a good researcher. Then you should have an open minded. It is not that you should be very clumsy and very specific ideology and ideas should be always in your brain. You should be very open minded because if as an academician, if you want to be a good researcher, you should go with an open mindedness. You should interpret the case in a very positive way. And if you will come confine yourself with your very specific ideas and ideology and thought, then you are not able to give justice to your teaching and learning and also to your research. Then another thing as a researcher, you should have a devotion first. Unless not until you are devoted, unless not until you are having a devotion to your to that particular domain of work you cannot give justice. Then quality is needed. You should be very disciplined in life because if you are a researcher, you should be very disciplined. What I was telling, it should be means you should be completely dedicated because if that is not there and you should have a discipline while doing the research. If you are not in discipline, you cannot be a good researcher. Then devotion is what I already told. Sincerity, you should have completely sincerity in your work. That you should have a commitment. If you are doing research, you should have a commitment. That's why you always tell, always, while we are doing any uh, interview for the research scholar and all, we look into all these aspects also, not only his knowledge, rather a student, whether he might be his weak in knowledge, but rather whether he is committed for research or not, whether he has sincerity in his attitude or not, whether he looks in a devoted or not. So all these things also look because that will help. Him. Sorry? Hello, Hello, sir. Sir. Ah. sir, this is Vaishnavi. Ah. Uh, sir, can you please go to previous slide? I just had one. I didn't understood one point there. So clarification of the big picture into which research specialization fits appropriately. Ah. I didn't understood that point. Can you please elaborate? Ah. See, what exactly happened you see, here, you see, generally the when we are doing a kind of uh, suppose I am doing a research on a particular topic. Suppose suppose I am doing a research on mining, and that too from a sociological perspective. So there I should go for a more not only more in-depth analysis. I should go for a kind of acquiring the more knowledge on this. That what I uh, means I should completely read the and what is exactly the the more picture on environmental policies. What is the environment? The, if there will be any kind of danger to the environment, what will be the impact on the society? And not only the, if I am doing specifically on the coal mining, I should go for understanding that the mining is in whole and how it is impacting the entire world. Means I should have a big knowledge and ideas. Means in the mind of me, I should have a big picture in the, my mind through that slowly I can come down there very specialized. Suppose you see, I'll tell you that suppose I'm uh, generally what happened, suppose uh, you are working on mining and you start working, suppose you are working on coal mining and if you start your introduction from the coal mining, it is not advisable because if you are doing on the coal mining, you should go start your writing from the, or when you start your reading, so you have to start that resource as a whole, within the resource, again, the natural resource as a whole, 
how the, what are the natural resources available and out of those resources you are slowly coming down to the mining and out of this mining you are slowly coming down to the coal mining so that means you should have a fast a big picture from which you should get a small research specialist suppose you say i suppose i will tell you suppose i work on for my phd uh, suppose i work on water management but while i am writing am i writing my area of research is water management no i am writing my area of research is resource, natural resource management or i am writing my area of specialization is see environmental sociology get my point so that means i am first having a knowledge of big picture what the unless and until i am having a big picture in the mind i cannot go to more specialized one what got my point hello hello yes sir okay hmm. okay okay ha <laughs> so so see ah uh, so that's why all if we want all these points should be within us we should be more disciplined we should be more devoted we should have sincerity we should have commitment to do to do the research so then only the a student or a person can be a good researcher so now uh, anything any uh, doubt you have so are you clear that some basic understanding about the research then only we will next class will get into the introduction of social science research now you understand what is research and yes, what sir. basic ideas yes, of research yes hmm? so at least it will ignite your mind on understanding what exactly the research is and uh, next we will get into the social what is the social science research and then we will discuss about how social science research is scientific in nature whether it is scientific in nature or not that will also in post then slowly we will get into the other aspect of the research so clear now anybody any problem with this hmm so have you received the first class video hello yes sir you received the video do you, do you have the video of first class yes sir okay yes so how you are going you are downloading or what uh, no no sir it will be available for only 20 days in the microsoft teams after 20 days it will set so if you have, some of you are working on the laptop and all you can download otherwise no need because mobile you should not do that because otherwise your space will over so because generally most of you might be attending the class through mobile so any of now you are post graduate student you might be having laptops but most of the under graduate students are facing problem they are attending through mobiles and all so any of so i'll stop here so then we'll meet on the thursday 8 o'clock hello mm.